is, well, let's be honest, sometimes relationships, they don't just go how we want them to, right? So what I want to talk about today and all this week, and I've kind of been talking about it since last week, if you follow me on Snapchat, is the most important relationship. If you want deeper relationships with your loved ones, if you want to find that soulmate, or you want a much deeper connection with the relationships you do have right now, whether that's friendships, whether that's romantic relationships, whether that's with your family, you've got to start with the most important relationship. And that is the one that you have with yourself. That helps you set the tone for how all those other relationships are going to go. If you are not taking the care of the most important person, you, then all your other relationships are going to suffer. And let me tell you why. A few years back, quite a few years back, probably I want to say somewhere around seven years or so, I was not in the best relationship. I was... Uh, going through life in a very robotic way, let's just say. And I really didn't, wasn't engaging uh, in a lot of the relationships I had. They were very, you know, t- like, I knew, I knew I knew these people, you know, we were friends or, you know, I had this other relationship, but I didn't really know myself. And so all these other relationships that I have, especially the, the one that, should have been or I thought was probably the most important at the time was the relationship, the love relationship, romantic relationship that I was in. That should have been from what I was viewing as my most important relationship. However, it wasn't. And the reason why is because I hadn't taken time to love myself, to figure out what I needed, who I was and what I wanted in this life. And so I allowed all these other things to kind of happen. I allowed these other people to treat me certain ways. I allowed people to take advantage of me simply because I didn't know who I was and I didn't love myself. So um, I have a YouTube video on this that you can check out um, on how Healthy Habits kind of brought me out of that, out of depression and helped me become a much happier, fulfilled woman. And so uh, check that out. Um, I'll put a link below. Uh, But let's talk about five things that kind of helped me during that as well. And I know can help you grow in your relationship with yourself. So whether you don't have a relationship with yourself or you have one, I want you to think about some of these things as we go through them. So number one is trying to please everyone. Now, I know uh, this is a big one for a lot of us women, right? We want to please the entire world. We want people to like us. We want uh, people to, you know, be around us and get to know us. And so we tend to not say no and we allow all these other people to take advantage of us. I know because I did it a lot. (laughs) I can tell you I did it a lot so much that... I wore myself down and got sick a lot of the time because I was trying to please everybody else and not trying to please myself. I would go into situations and I would come back. Like during them, I would feel like kind of weird, but I would go along with it and I would accept it and I would be okay. And then I would get home and there were moments where I would just cry or I would just just lay down on the couch and just not want to deal with anything. And it was because I was battling so much inside of me. But I wanted to please other people. I wanted people to think that, you know, I, I, I liked this activity or I liked this music or, you know, I liked these things. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But I just said yes. I just went along with it because I thought that's what I had to do. And a lot of it stemmed from me not truly knowing what I like and what I don't like. So, number one, stop pleasing other people. A lot of people want to say that, and this is a myth, that when you take care of yourself that you're being selfish. No. You're being selfish by not taking care of yourself. And other people should understand that. If they don't, maybe you need to let them go. All right. 
Number two is fearing change. You know, we stay in our comfort zones, right? We like to to be comfortable, to not rock the boat. We like to just keep things the same. Um, I know that. <laughs> I'm coming from you from experience on this one. I was in a relationship for 10 years. 10 years. We never got married, but I was in a relationship for 10 years. And it was because I feared change. I feared going out and putting myself out there for, to meet new people, to try new things. I thought if I just stay here, I'm okay. I can be comfortable here. I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to go over there. You know, I want to, this is, this is okay. This is, this is working. It's all right. I, I have everything going for me. I have a house. I have the dog. I have a great job. I have friends. I go out. Well, yeah, I had all those things, but those things weren't fulfilling me 100%. Maybe some things here and there, but I was truly not happy, truly not being myself. I was just staying where I thought it was safe. And so it held me back quite a bit. And so if you are doing that, if you are fearing going out and doing something different, whether that's in a relationship, in your job, trying something new in your career, taking that next level, you know, if you're in a, in a, in a, you know, on the career ladder, so to speak, and you want to try a new position and you're not sure about it, do it, take it. If you want to try something, you want to go out and, and start learning how to surf, I think of surfing because I'm from Southern California and the beaches are right here. <laughs> uh, but if that, maybe that's what it is. Or maybe it's, you know, if you live in the, near the snow and you want to go snowboarding or something, you've always wanted to try it. Try something different. Do something. Step out. If you have a desire to do it, fill, fulfill that desire because that is, you're telling yourself that's what you want to do. So go out and do it. All right, number three, living in the past. We do this, right? We live in the, oh, that happened and this happened and so I can't do this now. Oh, you know, uh, the shoulda, woulda, couldas, those start to creep in and you stay in that environment. You stay in that negative vibration and you don't move forward. You just keep at it. I know, I know. You guys, I'm telling you from personal experience, all these five things I was doing and I was not happy. I was not at all. I may appear, I may have appeared to be, right? And you may know people who are like this. They appear to be very happy, but they might not be. I was lucky that I had friends that helped me, that saw it and brought me out of it. Or like, you know, slapped me across the face, so to speak. They didn't, but you know what I mean? I was lucky that I had somebody around me that could do that for me. And so if you see somebody, you're not quite sure, step in, have a conversation. They may not like it, but they will. They will eventually. So living in the past, if you live in the past, you are not being present. You are not here in your current environment. We talk a lot about being more mindful, being present, being centered, right? Kind of being, being here, here and now. If you're living in the past, you can't do that. And you're letting go of what's happening to you now. You're not experiencing it. You're not enjoying it. You're not having any sense of it. You're completely wasting your time. Our time here on earth is precious and we should take advantage of it every single day. So if you're living in the past, stop right now. Bring yourself to the present moment. Live in the present. And there's tons of good readings out there that you can look for to be more mindful and be more present in your life. All right, number four, negative thinking. Stop putting yourself down. Now, I see this a lot, especially in women, but also in men where we put ourselves down, right? We say, I can't do this, or I shouldn't have do that, or uh, look how I look in this outfit, or, you know, that's just not me, that's not for me, I can't do that. Ah! <laughs> All these negative thoughts, Again, I was doing this. I was telling myself, I, I, I can't get out of this relationship. 
there's too many ties. We have a house. We have dogs. I, I, all of our bills. I can't do that. That's too much. Really? <laughs> if I look, looking back on it, man, really? I was worried about such small things. Yes, money is a big thing. Yes, dogs. I love dogs, right? But here's the thing. Money, money is just money. There is tons of money in this world that is out there for the taking. We just need to go out and get it, okay? So money should never be an issue because money will come. The universe will provide. You believe in that. The universe will always provide for you. So let that happen, okay? So stop putting yourself down. Stop telling yourself you can't do something. You're not worthy. You're no good because you are absolutely worthy. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of respect. You are worthy of good health. You are worthy of anything that you truly desire. So stop saying you aren't and start saying you are. This is where affirmations come into play. This is where I started doing affirmations very slowly and then in the past couple of years I really started doing them and that's when I really saw the, the huge leaps and bounds that I made in my life. All right, number five, overthinking. How many of you do it, right? Overthink something, we can't make a decision. So I literally was uh, kind of doing this a little bit yesterday. A friend of mine was launching her new lipstick product, and uh, it's a great product. I'm, I'm wearing it today. It's called Lip Sense, and the color I'm wearing is brick. And there was all these different colors, and I literally started overthinking. <laughs> I mean, I know this is simple, right? We're, I'm talking about a lipstick, but there were so many different colors to choose from that I, I was like, well, 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 what about this, and what about that, and, and all these things, and I literally stepped away for a few minutes walked around, got myself back, and then came back and approached it from a different light. I was literally starting to overthink and, and over all this, all this over mental stimulation, processing all this, all of it, and I didn't need to. I knew what I wanted, I knew what I was going for, but I was overthinking everything. Well, maybe I can do this, and maybe this, and maybe, but we do that, right? What Lipstick, life, jobs, works, business, relationships, we overthink. I want you to stop overthinking. This is where the mind, the, and, and it's funny because you, you think you're overthinking, but you're really just doing mental chatter. All it is is mental chatter that is going on in your brain. When you really like sit down, and this is where meditation comes in, sit down, be calm, Become one with your body, get your breathing in order, calm your mind. That is when you can hear yourself actually think. Instead of all the mental chatter that we think is thinking, it's not. It's just mental chatter. It's just stuff going on in our head. So, five things, let me repeat. Stop pleasing everyone. Stop fearing change. Stop living in the past. Stop those negative thoughts about yourself and stop overthinking, right? That mental, mental chatter. <laughs> All right, so that is the five things. Your action item for today is to choose one of those five things. Just choose one, and I want you to work on it until it becomes a habit. So if we're talking about trying to please everyone, this is what I, I started doing this a while ago. And it was hard. At the very beginning, it was hard because I immediately wanted to go into my normal routine of saying yes and okay and, and, and going along with things, right? It took me a while. And, you know, sometimes to this day, I can feel myself start, you know, sometimes want to go there. I can stop myself much faster now. But I've worked on it for a long time now, for a couple of years, more, more so in the past year. I've really, really worked on it. But what I want you to do is choose one of those things and work on it until it becomes a habit. Then include something else and keep adding it in, adding it in until you can start doing all of these five things. You're going to, you won't imagine or you can't imagine, I'm sure right now, how much it will change your life. You'll look back and you'll be like, what the heck? What 
happened, right? It's a totally different life from then till now. All right, announcements. So this is week six of Mindset Mastery. We are in our final week over in the Empowered Women Achieving Success Facebook group. We invite you to come on over and finish our last week with us. We are taking control of our life. So we are putting all of everything that we've learned so far, putting it together and finally getting in control of our lives. So if you want to be part of that, you'll see the link up above, uh, bit.ly, Women and Success, or you can search for us, uh, Empowered Women Achieving Success. There's also going to be some great stuff coming up since this is our last week. The group uh, put a poll out. They voted and they want to talk about vision boards. So that is going to be our next topic. Plus, I'm going to be doing some um, some really good uh, training coming up with a good friend of mine, Tanika Mason. We're going to be doing uh, some monthly training on our uh, pages here that are also going to really dive in in the groups. So... Uh, if you want part of that, come on over to the group and join us. We'd love to have you. Uh, last but not least, this week we are talking all about self-love as we enter love week. So grow the most important relationship, and that is the one with yourself. I'm sharing uh, tips and just some little tidbits over on Snapchat, so come follow me. Um, and to, uh, Wednesday, we'll be back with another self-love tip. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.